Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the third in a series of video tutorials on how to learn to code in Unity 5. Okay, so this episode we're going to carry on looking at variables. We're going to be looking at global variables, i.e. Uh, something you can call from a completely different script, like a variable. So first things first, let's go down here and let's create, let's go start with C Sharp again. So let's go C Sharp script. And it's very important what you now call this script, as we'll be using the name of this script as a reference later on. I'm going to call this one static script one. Hit enter, and then let's go into whichever program you have to write your code. Um, so the way we're going to do this, same as um, the other tutorials, we're going to write script in C Sharp and then we're going to use our powers of conversion and write it in JavaScript. Being able to write in both script and languages is a massive help in Unity, it really is. So what we'll do is we'll keep some of this as usual and we'll get rid of void update, we don't want void update and let's get rid of this little note here. We don't need that right now. I'm going to put extra space in there. And here, I'm going to state my first variable. Now, we'll start with public. And now, instead of writing the what the actual variable is, we need to put static. Now, having static there means that whatever this variable is, it can be altered either in this script or any other script uh, that we create. Um, let's simply call, what should we call this one? Something reasonable. Let's just have an integer, so int, and let's just call it the integer. So that's the name. If it comes up black, that's your name of the variable, remember? And let's make it equal to three. Now we don't really have to do much at this point. Um, there is one thing you will notice. Let's just save that script. And if we head back into Unity with this script, and let's put it on um, one of our objects here, either the sphere or cube. So drag and drop on the cube. You'll notice it is there. However, the variable does not appear here at all. That is because of this, the static. If you, for some reason, wanted it to appear there, you could always just make another variable and make it equal to this one. So for example, if we just do um, public int, and then let's put internal integer, and then a semicolon. In the void start, let's just put internal integer equals the integer and then semicolon and save. Let's head back to unity. So because it's in the void start and not declaring it in the variable it will stay as zero but when we press play it will turn itself to three. There we go. So next things uh, we're going to do is we're going to create another C-sharp script. So let's do create and C-sharp script. And let's call this importing um, var. So once again, go into your um, writing program. There we go. Mono develop for me. And what I'm going to do here, in fact, it's probably not wise to have var in that. I'm actually going to rename that. Let me rename it to importing the number, just in case. Head into the script. And where it's got importing var, I'm just going to change that to importing the number. There we go, that looks better. And getting rid of void update in this one and the note just there. So I am now going to um, create, let me see, what should I call it? Let's create just a normal 
um, variable, so public int, and let's call it taken integer. Um, in fact, let's no, let's just keep it as a semicolon. And in our void start, let's simply put taken integer equals. Now remember, it's important you remember what you named your original script as. In our case, we've put static script one. So we need to put static script one dot, and then we need to remember what we actually called our um, integer in there you know, the variable that we've created. In this case, uh, the static one, which was just called the integer. So, the integer, and then semicolon, and save that script. So, let's, seems to put the last script on the cube, let's put this one on the sphere. I'm going to remove this variable example two that we wrote in the last tutorial. And I'm going to put on importing the integer onto the sphere. Now you'll notice the taken integer is there. So let's press play. And it's updated because it's taken the number which is in here. Now because we've used void start, if we change that number at any point, it won't update. So let's change our start to update. Save that one. And then over in importing the number, let's also change that to update. So now the script will be called every frame rather than just once and then leaving it. So if we press, oops, just thinking about it down here in the right. If we press play now, this should come up as three on our sphere. If you remember, this one is importing the number from here. So if we change this one, it's not going to work. The reason being, if you remember, because in this script, we've put internal integer equals the integer. However, if we change this around and put the integer is equal to internal integer, get rid of that at the end, then when we press play now, it will stay as zero. Just thinking about it down here. If you if you get back into Unity after a script and it gets a little bit stuck, it's just because it's thinking about the script down here in the right. So this should stay as zero now, and it does. If we go onto our cube and change our internal integer to 2 and then head to our sphere, you can see that it's imported the number 2. So the reason it's imported the number 2 is because when we've changed our internal integer, it's then made the static integer equal to that same number despite having this here. And then it's imported the uh, static script 1 dot the integer into taken integer which then appears here instantly because it's updating constantly via void update. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is, this won't take too long because things are pretty simple when coming to conversion. Let's quickly convert what we've done into JavaScript. So let's create a new JavaScript. Let's call this one static script two. Let's hit enter. And let's see. So if we look at our original static script one, what we've done is created two variables. So let's create the same variables here. So the first one is the integer. I'm actually gonna name that slightly differently. And internal integer, again, we'll name that slightly differently. So public static int the integer. In, let's get rid of them there. In JavaScript, we write that as static var because we have to state that it is a variable in javascript remember um let's call this the integer two and let's make that equal to three so that's converting that first variable into javascript next one we'll just do var 
internal integer i'll put number two for that and then um that oops i just realized there we need um <laughs> to actually state what it is so same uh, double colon there and int and then same again with this one double col uh, colon int semicolon let's just quickly save that script and then in the update you can almost use the same there so if we copy that and in our function update paste and just change the variables to their correct names so that line is the exact same in your function update so let's save that script head back to unity just give that a quick think yep seems okay um, so I'm going to remove these C sharp versions on both the sphere and the cube. So static script two, let's put that on the cube. And you'll see that the layout is the exact same down here. So next thing, create JavaScript and let's call this importing the number two. Head into the script. So once again, uh, let's get rid of these few lines and it is just simply var taken integer and let's put a two colon int and semicolon. So if we look in, um, where was it? I don't think we've got it open. Oh, there it is. Important number. We just had an integer as taken integer. So that's all we've stated here. A variable called taken integer two and called it uh, integer. And all we need to do on this one now is real simple. We just need to make take an integer two equal to static script. So take an integer two is equal to static script two dot, uh, what do we call it? The integer two. So we've taken um, this line and just made it the same. So hopefully, if we go back to Unity now, we just need to put this importing the number onto our sphere, just there. Oops, that's gonna be funny. Onto the sphere. And you can see that's uh, all good. So let's press play. This one should come up as zero, it does. Let's change this to six, and we should have the sphere set, taken into the two as six. Okay, so one last thing that we're going to try and do. Let me remove that component on the cube, and I'm going to put static script one in C sharp back on the cube. And you can see it's zero. On the sphere, we have importing the integer number two, which is this one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do take an integer. So we're referencing the C sharp script now. Uh, sorry, no, that should be taken integer two, and that should be static script one dot the integer. So just to be clear, this JavaScript script take an integer two is equal to a C sharp script static script one dot the integer, which is this one. If we save that. Give it a second just to think. It cannot do it. The reason is because they are two completely different scripting languages. You cannot take information from one coding language to another. It just cannot seem to recognize it. So if you're taking numbers from, if you're in JavaScript and you're trying to take numbers from C sharp, you can't do it. You have to write that script in C sharp and vice versa. So let's quickly change that back to what it should actually be. Oh, one quick note, the reason I know that's an error is because down here you can see it's thrown up an error. Just in the console, if we clear, it'll leave this one here. It doesn't like it. So let's change this script back to what it should be. Head back into Unity, and this error should disappear. There we go. So now we just have the clearable errors. Okay, so we'll leave that tutorial there for now. Um, that is global variables. 
Um, as long as you remember to do it all in the same language. Um, we've learned some more here about um, switching languages, in, uh, you know, converting, doing language conversion. We'll do more of that later on as well. It's, it's, it's good to know how to do it. The next episode, we're going to be looking at controlling objects in your scene with code. So until then, um, yeah, just maybe take a look at all of the videos, try and do some conversions on code through them, and you'll pick up things quite quickly. So once again, thank you very much for watching.